The head of the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency has been tapped for a federal position. As we first reported on Wednesday, EMA Director Peter Gaynor has been nominated for the Deputy Administrator at FEMA. New at 5.30, Eyewitness News reporter Alexandra Leslie talked to Gaynor about his new position. She joins us now from EMA headquarters in Cranston. Rhode Island's Emergency Management Agency director says he's been in talks for the role for months, but he found out the official news when everyone else did. Wednesday, the White House announced seven nominations sent to the United States Senate. Among them was Rhode Island's Emergency Management Agency director, Peter Gaynor. The administrator called me. Yeah, he said you better check the website. At the top of the list, his nomination to be the Federal Emergency Management Agency's deputy administrator. It's second in command under Administrator Brock Long. When it comes to personnel, budget, IT, and all those things that allow him to execute his mission, mm -hmm. uh, you know, my role is to try to improve all of that. Gaynor is no stranger to Washington. He spent 26 years in the U.S. Marine Corps as an enlisted Marine and infantry officer. He also served as the head of plans, policy, and operations at the Marine Corps headquarters in the Pentagon and was there on September 11th. Uh, our small team um, uh, helped uh, our Navy counterparts, who uh, where, it's where the plane hit the, uh, the building. We kind of helped the Navy. Uh, reestablish command and control uh, globally. After retiring from the Marine Corps, he came back to head Providence's emergency management agency. Then he took on the role at the state level in 2015. He told me what challenges he and his team have tackled in that time. Uh, organizational change, uh, policy planning, uh, professional staff, all those things that make for a better output when a disaster uh, comes along. Gaynor says while it's tough to say goodbye to his team here, he knows Rhode Island's safety is in good hands should his nomination be confirmed. We are stronger today than we've ever been. FEMA Administrator Brock Long congratulated Gaynor on his nomination and said that he looks forward to working with the Senate on a speedy confirmation. Reporting in Cranston, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.